Hello, I am back. Actually, I could probably tweet that I'm switching to Animal Crossing now. Um, switching to Animal Crossing now. I'll also post that in my Discord. Okay, so now let's bring back Animal Crossing and let y'all hear it. Animal Crossing, I think I want it that volume level. Let me know in chat if Animal Crossing, if the game is too loud or too quiet or anything and I can change it further. But let us hop right into the game. Also, So long. There you go. Some fun or what? It's January 9th at 7 p.m. Trantor. That's all correct. Let's get rolling. I'm Rick. I think I have to create other characters soonish, but so far it's just Rick. Okay. We do have somebody new, Hornsby, which it's hard to tell with this acre, but Hornsby might be our first person to live below the cliff. But it's hard to say. Could be above the cliff. Okay. Oh yeah, snowman. It's like, why do we have four? So Tom Nook. So the good news is that Nook and Go is um, going to be upgrading to Nookway today. Bad news is that my turnips are now all going bad. Okay, um... Let's see for fossils. Plessio, we just need the torso. So that's nothing we need. Mammoth Skull, though that's something we need, so we're not opening that yet. And Triceratops, so that's also something we need. So that's awesome. Two fossils we need out of three. Flake, but is that you took the time to mold me into five figure in? that you just got the snowman wardrobe, but thank you. Enjoy. Stow your snow, snowman. Awesome. And HRA. Lost points for filthiness. That's no problem. Okay, um... So let's go back to our percentage on screen. So we'll put that, um, snowman thing in here. I guess the turnips are the garbage they're speaking of. And since Nux is closed today, we'll put the Plessio neck over here. We'll sell it tomorrow, but... Oh, that's that's kind of annoying that we don't get to sell our turnips, though. And they're gonna spoil. One of the... This had a 10 to spoil, so we could catch some ants. But we didn't want them all to spoil. Also, I'm just gonna make sure chat is working. Like, we don't usually get much chatting during the Star Wars RPG, so... It's... Oh, I don't have... One second, I just realized there's something I forgot to do. I don't have captions active. I never have them active during the RPG streams because I don't know how to set them up in a way that they'll, um... 
work for everyone else. Also, I think, actually... Uh, yeah, we're gonna turn off color correction because it's nighttime. It's definitely brighter than it should be at nighttime with the color correction off, but it's a bit too dark with it on. If anybody knows like anything about how to do proper color correction and such beyond just like, you know, uh, actually understands how it works, feel free to let me know because I could definitely use some assistance on that. I have no idea what it, I'm doing when it comes to color correction. Um, yeah, let's just do our normal walk about town. Won't be able to sell anything, but hey, at least we gotta donate two things. And not only not sell anything, not buy anything, but we'll get to buy more tomorrow, so. Oh, this is good. We'll get some money from the Money Rock and the Glowing Spot. And hey, how's it going, Lobo? Uh, I'm bored. Baseball? Where's the I don't care about baseball option? Um... I like... I like watching because I can do other stuff. You know, I think you're right. After all, baseball is a lot of work. So I'll do spectator sport, at least for us. Yeah, see? Lobo agrees with me. And by spectator sport, I mean I can pay attention. I can ignore the actual game and, you know, be on my phone or something. I guess if it was like you know, Mario baseball or like a baseball video game, Wii Sports Baseball. That's fun. Well, even then, Wii Sports Baseball is probably like my least favorite of the sports in Wii Sports. The original. I haven't played Wii Sports. Well, no, I've played a little bit of Wii Sports Resort, but not much. Uh, so Wii Sports, boxing is fun, bowling is a lot of fun, tennis is, you know, fine. Uh, it's good. And golf is fun. I think part of it is that those ones are all pretty much like the full game essentially, whereas baseball is a simplified version of baseball in Wii Sports. So you're pretty much just doing the hitting, everything else is automatic. Poltergoid. Awesome. That's right, because it was snowing yesterday. So there's well, th two more gyroids somewhere in town. Where in town? I don't know. It's somewhere in town. Gyroids, they be uh, gyroiding. Gyrating? Wait, no. Stop. Let's go say hello to our neighbor. Actually, like, well, not quite next door neighbor. One of the closer ones. I mean, taking into account that you have to cross the bridge to get to Fran Sherry's house, then, yeah, you, Lucy here is probably our closest neighbor. Just hanging. Yes, I've seen plenty of igloos. Wait. Yeah. Who was it that who was it that took all our money in Nigloo? I don't think that was Lucy. That was was that Tangy? I wanna say that was Tangy that took all of our money in an igloo. When we had like thirty thousand bells. So more than we have right now. And all it all went away in a single game of chance. That, my friend, is why you don't play games of chance. You only play games that you're guaranteed to win. Well, 
which means, you know, you cheat. <laughs> no. I mean, it depends on, it depends on why you're playing, what you're playing for. Because, like, as long as you're, like, responsible with it, like, you don't spend money that can't afford to lose, it's fine. But, when you spend money that you shouldn't be, this is the original Animal Crossing for GameCube. Uh, yeah. The only main one I've played. I've also played Pocket Camp on iPhone, but it's the only main one I've played. Also, welcome in, uh, Derpy Potato. Hope you're having a good day, a good Saturday. It's really annoying that Nook is closed today, because we bought turnips last Sunday, and they're going to go bad now, because we can't sell them. It's a shame. A real shame. Let's get some outfit options here. Four ball shirt. Aurora knit. What is the Aurora knit? Uh, that's fine. Sticking with a paw shirt for now. Paw shirt is where it's at. Okay. And hey, how's Tangy doing? I'm not avoiding you, it's just Saturday. It's a Saturday. That's why we didn't meet up till now. Uh Sure. Would take it anyway if I said no. Interesting. So you're admitting you would have been a thief. Very interesting. Let's also say hi to Teddy. Which, wait, not something you don't want my plaza tile. Uh, what's up? Brand new billiards team. Uh, Matt? Yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm a billiards team manager now. My new, uh, exciting new career. What, 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 what does that all entail? Ooh, big blue. Oh, right, Sahara's here today. Th that plaza tile is very fortunate then. Getting that. Well, ah, Sherry. Hey, how's it going? One common, sweet and tender. Sh I mean, sure. Ooh, gyroid or fossil? I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess fossil, because we need five more of those, only two more gyroids. Nope, gyroid. Okay, so we still need one more gyroid, and still all five fossils. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We might go back to the igloo later, depending on. So let's talk to Sahara. Uh, yes. Yes, let's trade. Boxing ring mat. Okay, so the plaza tile for the boxing ring mat. But now the nice thing is we can trade again. It'll it'll cost more money. So boxing ring mat is what we got. So but we still need everything from her other than the boxing ring mat. And here's the thing, you s see, 
Office flooring. That's fine. So you see what the option is before you do it. So then you can say no. And then, but then you can talk to her again and like do it again. So with Sahara you can as long as you have the money, you can in theory get every carpet from her in like one go. Except well, maybe not because obviously with each one it gets more expensive. It doubles in price. So right now we can't afford to do another trade in. Uh, once we get the money rock, we should be able to do one more. Just one more, though. So. That's cool. Okay, so Hornsby is, yeah, down here. Oh, here's Hornsby. How the evening to you? Do you come to deliver me a nice tasty dinner? Yuck, yuck. No, you don't say. Stop by to say hello. Wow, that sure is neighborly of you. Direct, uh, nice to meet you, Schnozzle, even if you don't come bearing snacks. Okay, well, let's write a letter to our newest villager, welcoming them to our fair village. That's Hornsby has now lived in this village. And is currently living in this village, but H. Hornsby. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the list is still not visible and then percentage so that's 11 of the villagers 218 villagers have lived in this village at some point let's see if that ups the percent calculator 11 divided by 218 still at five percent Okay. So that's one of the goals for the 100% is getting every villager to live in this village at some point. Um, no point in asking any goings on. Well, actually... Hmm, Harold will move to another uh, acre. F1. Okay. Okay. Because after we get the money, we're going to go get one more from her. One more carpet. Stationary. Interesting. Octopus paper. Really? This game really likes giving us the octopus paper. So we've seen that in Nooks, we've seen that in the dump, we've seen that here, the lost and found. And all of that multiple times, I think. Well, not, not all of them. Uh, Nooks, we've seen it multiple times, I think. You're ready to take us. Okay, I'm gonna guess fossil. Yeah. We already found two of the gyroids. We still have one more to go, but it was just like. Statistically, we were more likely to find a fossil. Let's make sure we're sending the fossil to the museum, not to Hornsby. 
don't know that Hugh care. Uh, I'm gonna guess another fossil. Called it, called it. Granted, I'm, um... Two for three on calling them, because you know, this gyroid on the one that I also called is a fossil. And the first one I didn't even call, because I didn't... I completely missed the line. Oh, here's a snowball in F4. Uh, one of the snowballs. We haven't seen the other one yet. But, so a lot to explore. Please don't be the money rock. Excellent. I could just get rid of that tree. But it's not a snowball. It's a soccer ball. You don't, can't make a snow man out of a soccer ball. That'd just be ridiculous. Okay. Just. All right. Let's see how our. Carry on. I'm not going to talk to her because then she's going to move acres. We're just going to leave her here right after we found the money rock. Oh, one of one of our coconut trees died. It's the one right against here, which I knew was a possibility. I think they can grow against the cliffside like that, but I think it's less likely. The rest all look fine though. Uh, anything around the museum? Nope. Well, let us go and donate these two items. Now that we're donating, I decided, yeah, I'm not going to erase them from here until I actually donate them. Uh, donate an item. Tricera torso. Bottom of the list. Ooh, I say a Triceratorso. So. Day that remaining piece of a prehistoric puzzle found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. Yeah. Um. Yes. Mammoth skull. No, nothing else. Okay. So, that's all we have left for fossils. Go back to the percentage list. So yeah, it's coming along nicely. Um, so we have everything in the center. We don't have anything for the T-Rex yet. Or the pterodactyl. But we have two thirds for both the Apatosaurus and the uh, Plesiosaur and the Triceratops. Third of the Stegosaurus and half the Mammoth. So, you know, it's coming along nicely. One step at a time. Um, here in the... Oh. Hey, Freya. Yeah, Saturday tends to be a busy day for me. Uh, I mean, every day tends to be a busy day for me. What's new? Nice. Sounds like fun. Huck? Yeah, it's 7.23 even. That is true. Don't care to chat. Uh, 
thanks, I guess. Oh, uh, I'm gonna guess another fossil. Oof, nice. Three for four. this paper, which we're actually gonna shift everything upwards. Because otherwise, like, the two paper down here tends to just stay there unused. If I start doing that when I get a new one, putting it here and shifting the other two up, then I tend to act then I'll actually use all of the different paper I get. Uh, this could be the money rock. We haven't found it yet. I haven't found the glowing spot, and I see there's... Nope star up there. Um, okay. So I'm gonna guess... Oh, there's the other snowball. So the one was in F4 and the other is here in D2. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess gyroid. No, another fossil. Hmm. My winning streak had to come to an end. Fossil was still more likely as there are... Hey, it's a panda. There are... There's still one more fossil out there, so there were two fossils as only one gyroid, but I decided to, you know, I decided to go against the odds. And that was my fatal error. Of course, earlier, the one I got, the other one I got wrong was where I went with the odds. Ringfish. Awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, uh, gyroid. Omega Gongoid. Awesome, awesome. Fortunately, we can't sell that, uh, string fish today. We'll have to wait till tomorrow to actually sell it. But hey, that'll give us more money for buying turnips tomorrow. So that'll be decent. Ah. And this'll be the final fossil. Yeah, the last one you're guaranteed to get right because, you know, <laughs> you only have one thing left. Okay. Let's go mail all this mail. I don't think we should be ex... Yeah, there's no letters in here because we're not expecting anything right now. Exploring, build a snowman. Then. Uh, make sure we've talked to everyone in town. Go to the island. And then what? Oh, we still get one more carpet from Sahara. Once we get the money rock. And, um... Check my trees. I'm gonna need to... 
grow one more coconut tree since one of them died. Have we talked to everyone yet? Teddy and Tangy, yes. Lucy, yes. Lobo, yes. Hornsby, yes. Freya, Sherry, yes. Hockey, yes. Maple, Robin, and Louie we still need to talk to. Okay. Okay. Still no money rock. Still no glowing spot either. Okay, all our trees in this acre seem to be growing decently. Hey, and our peach trees grown. So that means we can start getting some more peach trees. Oh, I paused after the first hit. So I got six bags. Actually, does that mean I'm gonna... I, I'll still have enough for one more carpet then, but just barely, because the next one's going to be 12,000. Okay, that's fine. Tomorrow I have an automatic uh, 15,000 that I get from the string fish when I sell it. And then... Oh, and here's a glowing spot. Thousand bells. I don't want to pack as I bear that. I'm like, that would have been a good spot to build to grow a golden tree to get a shovel. But then I'm like, oh, I can't. don't have an extra shovel to bury anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Maple. Oh, you know, this and that, every which thing. Uh, what's going on? It is. Sure. Nice. Oh, I will. So, you know what I was concerned about the amount of teddy bears she has? And the fact that she... I mean, I guess a te bear owning teddy bears would it be that weird. Like, it would be like a human owning, you know, like Barbie dolls or whatever. Or other dolls. But. Hey, Louie. I have. You know, friends are important. It is awesome. Uh, came that way. I mean, go ahead and try. And... Robin. What's new? Uh, okay. Mod top? Or a cherry or a pitfall. I need the cherry. I need the cherry. Motop is fine as well, but I need the cherry. Well, if anybody in chat has an idea of which one I should pick, um, I am open to suggestions. Um, obviously, that'll, I can just have myself. It comes down to it, but if anybody has an option they want me to pick, Go ahead and let me know. And yeah, cuz I don't know which to go with. Cuz I want that cherry. Okay, we're going to pick. middle. 
Uh. I mean, I wanted the cherry, but it's 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 better than the pitfall. Which is the mod top again? That's fine. It's fine. Okay. So today has been a day of bad luck here in Animal Crossing. We didn't get the cherry. We didn't get a sell of turnips. Only got six hits on the money tree. But we also did get two new fossils, caught a string fish. Is anyone else concerned that the string fish is like two pieces of paper put together? Keep the gyroid right for now because we did want to eventually build a collection of them. One of my characters in another town who might have a Mega Gongoid already? I don't know. Retro Stereo, we're actually going to put up here. We're gonna get another song later tonight, but that's not for another 25 minutes. And then we'll put the, um... Tape deck down here. Um... Everything else will just... Oh yeah, do I? Clothing you. Place out. Oh, you can't, you're not just dropping on the floor, so you can't just select multiple things at once. Next up, um, snowman, I think. Do we still have a snowman one of the acres over this way? Didn't destroy the one we had over here. Can you only have one snowman at a time? That's possible. Um, because where's our current one? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna test that theory out. So we're gonna build a snowman and then see if the one we have over here disappears. Let me just go. Make sure I clock the right spot. Okay, so here in C1, right near this side. Be a good neighbor if you see someone need help, lend a hand. Okay. So we're gonna go build a snowman. Assuming we get those across the bridge. Okay, awesome. I 
So I think that's go there. There it goes. Unless I'm wrong, I did do something to the other snowman I had had the other day. This, there goes my theory about having multiple snow or having my idea of having multiple snowmen. Uh, let's actually go grab the other one before we keep going. Well, snowman, one in each acre. As cool as that would be, it seems like that's not possible. But we'll find out for sure. Assuming I don't break this one, bringing it up. Because that was the issue we had. Yesterday, where we got this one to where we had one in that approximate location, and then it got too big by the time we got it here, so we weren't able to push it up. But of course, you don't want to be doing the opposite and pushing. something down because then it's just gonna you know roll all the way down and break but we've got it we've got it okay okay so we're definitely building a snowman here whether or not it's a perfect one obviously I'd prefer a perfect one but even if not at least we are doing our test here about if this is going to make the current snowman disappear. Which actually brings up a question, and we'll have to test out next time, is if that does make it disappear, what happens if you're in the acre with the snowman if you bring these snowballs to the acre with the other snowman, and then build this snowman. Okay, I think that should be decent. So close. No. Okay, so that's C4. So let's go check. So no, it did not spear. If we leave, if we enter and leave a house, is that going to change things? No. Nope. Well, I'm going to... So I have two snowmen right now, but I'm going to check tomorrow if either of them disappears. Because I'm pretty sure I did have another one yesterday that should still be around. But is not... So, let's just count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so we're gonna want one more tree to replace the dead one. Okay. Well, let's see what you're offering. Ancient tile. Awesome, so you got three carpets off Sahara. Yeah. yeah that's why I like Sahara so much better than um, Wendell, because you actually have like some control over it. Okay, um, before we go to the island, we're going to peach trees, because my pear trees are coming along nicely up here. Obviously this one we just planted yesterday, because we had tried it one over here two, time, two or three times and kept failing. The others are actually like 
growing a lot faster. But here we have these. So we have two trees in the acre. And we can grow another six, bring us up to eight. Which then we'll still want four more after that. But firstly, okay, this one might fail. It's not gonna. It's not next immediately next to the, what would be a house that would be here because this is a house. It would extend, you know, like that. There would still be a space in between. But it is on like one of these like brown spots, and those sometimes have a harder time with trees growing. Well, we're going to try regardless. And then where else do we want trees in this acre? Um, let's see, so that's four total. One. I don't like that spot. I don't like that spot. I like that spot. Five, six, seven, no, seven, eight. I was going to planting all of them today, but I just want to make sure I have a general layout. Nine. Eleven. Almost destroy that snowman. Even though that snowman would actually be a decent spot for a tree. Yeah, we'll say twelve is where the snowman is. Um. As for which ones we want to go with today. Do one here. We'll do these three spots. So those are all decent spots. Um, I'm sure, right here. Probably not facing it. There we go. Drop this wallpaper off. Or, no, wallpaper carpet. Okay, built the snowman. Fixed up that. Oh, oh, I like that. Let's drop that. We're gonna be doing, selling a bunch of stuff tomorrow. Because I'm only at 472 bells right now. Okay, so next was going to the island. Well, we want to bring one coconut back with us, and we're not bringing anything there. But we will see if we can catch any insects while we're over there. Actually, because I have like, I'm using the game key with Game Boy Advance player or Game Boy player as um as my Game Boy Advance for this. But I actually left my GameCube on overnight since yesterday when we were doing the Animal Crossing stream. Just completely slipped my mind. Ugh. Oh, the cucumber song, nice. Cucumber, cucumber, so green and long. The best ripen or not, or with some coleslaw. Please get me two or three that I can gnaw. Yeah, or tell me something. I look glory to me shall be fit and tight. Me shall be fit and tight. While I do love me cukes, 
They should curl me, flukes. But now, please, zucchinis, give me the spooks. Zucchini spooks. Okay. Ah, the island. Switch to insects, just so I can see. Wait, let's first just grab our co-guys that we're bringing back with us. And then check for any insects. Is there something there? No. Thought I saw something on there. Uh, no need to talk to you. We didn't bring a green counter, was it, that you wanted? Let me just quickly check that. Um, yeah, green counter. Don't want the fish list, we want the insects. Let's see if we can't find anything to bring over to the museum. Banded dragonfly is one of the big things we need. Although pretty much anything we see on a tree, like any of the beetles or whatever, is something we need. go for too long with this. Also, for my, like, list that I'm making of, like, what I'll need, I was gonna be making the gyroid list today, but because I can't look at my, um, catalog to check off the ones that I have, I'm gonna hold off on that. Leave that for tomorrow. So, right now we're gonna, like, see if we can get anything, any insects here on the island. Uh, to bring back to the museum, and we're gonna go either until we have full inventory Or it hits 8 o'clock, whichever comes first. If it hits 8 o'clock, we're just gonna go back, then we're gonna listen to KK Slider uh, Are we even finding anything? We're not finding any insects though Like Based on yesterday, I was thinking the time didn't actually matter for insects on the island, but the fact that we've gone back and forth like a dozen times, which means one of two things. Either the times do matter, they're just different than the mainland, or the walkthrough I was reading had incorrect times. Neither of which is an option I like. Because, yeah. I mean, they could just be off by like an hour or something, which wouldn't be by much. That's not a super big deal, even if we don't find anything here on the island. Like, the big thing was like, oh, it'd be nice to, you know, get some of these insects just now instead of waiting till like spring or summer. Or whatever, but if they're not here, we're not ca we're not finding anything. I might just head back a bit sooner. We'll do a few more back and forths, but like, unless I even at least see something soon. I might just assume that we're not going to be seeing anything. If anybody knows, like, for sure, feel free to let me know, like, I am always open to, like, t 
tips or tricks or info about not just Animal Crossing, just in general with the games I'm playing, like tips, tricks are generally welcome. Never go like telling me what like what like ordering me around. Obviously I'm the one playing like you know it's like but tips and tricks are always welcome. Which like basically give an example, like, you know, you're fighting like a boss or whatever. You know tips or tip would be like the tail is the weak point. Ordering me around would be like hit the tail type thing. Like even like you're supposed to hit the tail or something like that is good or whatever. Just like don't be like, hey, idiot, hit the tail. Like, you know, that's just me. I don't think we're finding any insects here though, not at this time. So I think we're just going to head back. Not yet. We'll, we'll definitely be doing that eventually. Bringing back a record of the island. I'm doing stuff with that, but we need another shovel before we start. I don't really. We also need some others, some like stuff to leave on the island. Okay. Well, we can turn off that. Go back to our standard percentage. Um. Even though we're not really updating our... We updated the uh, villagers one, but... Fisher insects we would have updated as well. Everything else we only update when... Uh, if, when we actually look at our... Um, catalog, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Playing the ladies off with sticks. No, no, not really. Fish and insects we update when we donate to the museum. Everything else, um, villagers we update when when we talk to them and have like written the letter to send to them. NES games will update when we've 100% one of them. Then everything else we update at the end of stream when we check our catalog. But obviously it's an exception on days like today where we can't check our catalog. Okay. So we're gonna do we're gonna donate. We're going to plant one of these. And honestly that'll give us about time to go and uh, get the song from KK Slider. So that spot didn't work. What spot do I want to try next? Do I want to try this spot again? I think I want to try this spot again. It'll probably be the same thing. But hope springs eternal. to the igloo and just uh probably won't be able to play anything because we, we don't have much money and we don't have an item so that means we probably need to be oh actually wait i left the i i went to the island and came back let's see if that changes anything with my snowman is still here okay still have two snowmen we'll check again tomorrow but <sighs> Excuse me. And where was the igloo? There. There she blows. We'll see. Hey, Sherry. 
It's a great igloo, yes. Could have a party. Uh, it is amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna guess we're not gonna be able to play a game because of our lack of money and furniture. I don't know what games would have for her anyway. These games are dependent on um, personality, but I don't actually know what games go with which personality. So that's good to know, because eventually we're going to have to uh, get all the, figure out which game works best for getting the igloo exclusive furniture, and just in general, I guess. Let's drop this coconut off. And let's go get another KK Slider song. I'm gonna mute myself while we're um, listening to it. Okay. Yeah, it was salsa. I was pretty sure, but I kind of was going through it quickly, so I was like, wait, that was salsa, right? Sounded like it. But, there we go. So, let's go put that in our, um, Then our thing. Pop and a tune. My vast library. Oh, I guess music. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Awesome. And I think 
this is where we're gonna call it. Um, only about an hour of Animal Crossing, but that's, you know, not too surprising, honestly. Uh, we would have got a bit more, I mean, we would have got a bit more done had Nook's been open, but it probably wouldn't have taken us much longer. Now we're gonna go raid some bees, so stick around for that. And, uh, yeah, because it's always nice to raid another streamer. Let us go and see who is live. Okay. So we could raid someone playing Yakuza Zero. Crossing New Leaf, or The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, or Mass Effect, or Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So we have a lot of options for who we can raid. Um, it's probably gonna be one of those people, so if anybody has a preference for any of those games. Let me know in chat, otherwise I'll decide myself who we're going to go and raid. And I will be back tomorrow, uh, 9 a.m. is the plan, doing the final 12 hour marathon that I owe, starting with Animal Crossing and then switching to Zelda games for the rest. Uh, then my weekday streams are all 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Start with Animal Crossing before switching to another game, except Tuesday, which is just Animal Crossing. So Monday will be Super Mario Bros. 35, Wednesday, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Thursday, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate we're starting on, which is something I'm really looking forward to. And uh, Friday will be... Um, what will be on Friday? Currently running a poll. Still 54 minutes left, but Lego Middle Lego Hobbit will likely be what I end up playing. And um, yeah, the next Saturday back with more of the Star Wars RPG at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and with Animal Crossing after it. Um, and I think that's it. Unless I'm forgetting anything, so let's, and since nobody seems to have a preference for who we go and raid, I think we're going to raid someone that we haven't raided in a while. Just Jenny playing Mass Effect first play th through. And yeah. Uh, so if y'all want to join me on that raid, copy and paste the raid message, join in on the raid, and thanks everyone for coming out. Those who chatted, well, yeah, those who just lurked, those who hosted or auto-hosted, um, anything else today? Doesn't look like it. And of course, uh, though they're probably not here anymore, a big shout thank you to my wonderful Star Wars RPG players. Um, and yeah, and I will be back, as I said, tomorrow, bright and early, 9am, and, uh, bye.